I after watching the film of the game, it's just what I thought after the game. Uh, uh, a very tough win. Uh, Carnet Word played their ends off. We had to fight for it, but that was fine. I was proud of the way we fought through and won the football game. Very proud of of uh, getting the ball with a little over five minutes to go and, and being able to run the clock out and and, and really seal the deal. Uh, we're in a great frame of mind uh, going to the Lake Charles this week. We understand how tough McNeese is and they're smarting coming off a loss and how tough uh, it's going to be over there. But we're excited about it and, and we're ready to roll and we're going to put in a great week and we're going to go there and give it everything we got. Questions? Talk about the aspect of, uh, I guess, a robbery game against McNeese. I mean, it's like a bowl game atmosphere for you guys. Or just... Well, uh, to me, uh, I, I know in the past before we brought it back, they've had some great games with McNeese and it was a rival game, and to me, it's not going to be a renewed rival till we win one. Uh, we got to get in the mix. We've come close. We've played well against these guys. Uh, it is in proximity, the closest team to us, and, and it can be a great rivalry. But we got to start holding up our end a little bit. Coach, you always it seems like the I guess the upper end of the conference. That whenever you play the team this year, they're coming off of a loss. I mean, I guess in this case, two losses. This. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. <laughs> Just what type, what type of mentality? Like you're not in their locker room, but what type of? How do you think they are going to respond? You know, like you said, they're going to be smarting. But last, last game of the year, right? You know. Well, I think uh, two weeks ago, their mind was set on a conference championship and postseason, those kind of things. Uh, some of that's been taken away with the two losses. They can still get in to the postseason. There's still some things there for them, but they're going to be smart a little bit. Uh, a couple of things happen to your team when you're in that situation. There is a letdown uh, because your team's disappointed, but then uh, your team becomes angry, and uh, they kind of want to take it out on somebody. And I know this week it'll be very easy for Coach Viator to get them to focus, uh, and they'll be ready to play. And this uh, was going to be a big game anyway for them, but it has become even a bigger game because they have to get this win if they want to get in. And so it's become even a bigger game for them. In the case of, uh, in the case of a lot of rivalry games, you've got kids that you know, played with each other in high school. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's only an hour away, but there's a lot of kids in this East that are from the Southeast Texas area. Do, uh, do you think that plays a tough factor into it as far as familiarity? Well, I think so. I, I think we recruit a lot of the same players. Uh, you look at, especially in our absence uh, over the 20 years, McNeese has played with a lot of players from the triangle. Uh, you can't hardly go into a school over here where they don't have some former player that played at McNeese. Uh, in the same breath, we've had a number of players uh, from that part of Louisiana that's played over here. Uh, so there's very, very familiar familiarity with uh, those sides. I think Coach Viator's father was the, the head coach over here at Vider. I grew up over there, really right next to the stadium. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Talk about McNeese because early on in the season, I remember they went to Nebraska. Nearly beat Nebraska. I mean, what's different with their football team now? Well, early on, uh, they really played well against Nebraska. Kind of caught Nebraska maybe not playing their best and, and should have won the football game. Uh, as the season went on, I think for the first thing you see – uh, the last two to three weeks when you turn on the film, you see a lot of uh, different faces. They've, they've had to battle some injuries. And any of us at, at this level, we don't have the scholarships and the numbers. Uh, when we have injuries, you, you can change uh, your team. Uh, and I think they've done a good job with that. Uh, they certainly aren't the type of program that's going to use that kind of thing as an excuse. But you can see some different faces out there the last two or three weeks. And, and we've all played. 10 or 11 games were all beat up a little bit, and you see that uh, across the board, and it's certainly the case with Mike Neese. What's your style of play that you know, has given them more problems tonight? Well, I don't know if it's their style as much as just uh, their players and their, and their approach and their philosophy. They're just good. They're sound. Uh, offensively, they can run and throw it. Defensively, uh, they come at you and attack. They're just a good football team, and they are, uh, I would think, over the long haul, probably the most consistent team at the top of anybody. They're, they're good every year and just uh, it's tough to beat a good football team that has that type of mentality and that type of history and they're used to winning. They're used to finding ways to win and they've done a great job not only against us but, but against a lot of opponents. Do you think your players have a sense of how important this film is for the Lamar program in general? I mean, what it would mean, you know, five years back, bringing back football and really 
cap off this season with Lake Charles? I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm well aware of the fact that I'm not 18 or 19 again. Uh, it's been a while. Um, but uh, I think they do. Uh, I don't know if it's the historical significance means as much to them right now as it will when they're 30. I think they do. I think they really wanted the winning season last week. I saw that in their eyes. I think they understand uh, what's at stake and what we can do this week. Uh, I have a good feeling about it, but I, I wouldn't bet the house on it because we're still dealing with 18 to 22 year olds. But this team has been very resilient. Uh, they've done everything we've asked them to do. I think we're going to ask them uh, one more time, and I really, look, I really think we'll go over there and play well. Uh, for me personally, no. Uh, I'm, if the season was over with today, either way, I'd be very proud of what we've done and very proud of what we've accomplished. Now, with that being said, you almost separate McNeese from that because it's McNeese. Uh, anytime we have an opportunity to play and beat McNeese, we need to try to do it because uh, it's almost separate from what you said. Uh, you know, when I first got here, there was a number of people who uh, said, if you don't beat anybody, let's beat Mike Neese. That's, that's our number one rival. Uh, and I say I, I'm talking about everybody associated with the program. So I think they're kind of separate. Uh, it would be a great way, in my opinion, to finish a good season and make it even a better season. So that part of it, it would almost be the icing on the cake in my, in my, my, in my view. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> well, uh, my question is, like, what do we do best at Chris Best to expose uh, Ignatius? To, what do we do best on both sides of the ball that could probably expose Ignatius? Well, offensively, we throw and catch the football. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think uh, our pass sets up our run. We would like to throw it more. Uh, you saw the other night we had to run it more. We did a very good job with it. Uh, but I think we have more explosive players and more talented uh, players uh, at the receiver position. Sometimes it just works out that way, and we've got an experienced quarterback. So uh, defensively, we attack, and, and we cause more negative plays. I think our attacking style and, uh, and what we can do and put people in third and longs by attacking on first and second down has a lot to do with it. We're still young, and we, we make mistakes, and you see people – uh, wide open sometimes, those kind of things. We cover up for that with aggressive play and uh, just playing hard all the time. So uh, I think that's – our youth is a good thing to have on defense right now because we're still playing hard maybe when we don't know we shouldn't be. And offensively, we can throw and catch, I think, with anybody. Now, is this the time of the season where there are no surprises? I mean, there's so much video on both teams out in Tennessee that's been charted that uh, he's really just down just go out and play football. Yeah, and what you got to do is, is look what they're doing lately if it's changed with these injuries and those kind of things. And us too, uh, you look at the common opponents, that kind of thing, and you normally overthink this ball game. You, you, normally, you normally overthink it and you try to overcoach, and you got to be careful of that because, like you said, we've got a lot of information on each other. Uh, we played the 11 games, they've played 10, so we, we're very familiar with one another. And getting ready to play other teams, you can't help but notice – Mike Neese on the other side, even though you're going to wait and break him down later on, you still look at them uh, when you're getting ready to play someone else when you catch them on film. And they've, I know they've done the same thing with us. We're very familiar with them by now. Competition for just how nice would it be to kind of not only get that win, but kind of on the road in front of you know with those kids on their official visits. Well, I think right now, if I went in, I, I could say things along the lines of we've won seven games. Uh, this is the most wins since '74, first winning season since '79. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you finish the sentence with and we beat Mike Nice. Uh, that was that. Like I said, uh, I think it's something we. We want to do and we want to try to do. Very easy to say, very difficult to do. But this is a game that uh, 
if we want to get uh, in the playoffs, if we want to be a champion, we're going to have to go through Magnus at some point. We might as well start now. Well, it shows uh, the maturity of our program and also shows the development and the maturity of Caleb Berry. Uh, it's a combination, I think, of his experience and his evolution, so to speak, and it also uh, it speaks volume of our entire offensive scheme. I think he's in a good situation. I, I think our offensive line's done a good job of protecting him. He's got a talented group of receivers to throw to, and then on top of that, he has worked his way. I don't think there's any quarterback in the country who's worked harder than he has. So it's a combination of a lot of things, but I think he's very deserving of it. And uh, if he's number two, he, uh, he's probably going to have to be number one if we're going to win this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. James? James? James. Well, I think the last home game was big for him, and, and we won that, and that's great. And I'm glad that we got that over. I'm glad that we got the seven wins of the winning season over us. But I think uh, in each of them, in their mind, uh, it rubs them that they haven't beaten Mike Nace. Uh, and, and I know they want to do that, and this is going to be their last chance to do that. So I think uh, I can't speak for them, but I can. Uh, as a senior, they want to walk off that field over in Lake Charles saying we beat Mike Neese. So this is this is be a big game for all of them and uh and a big game for Caleb as well. Any more questions? Yeah, what's your question? This ought to be good. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, that, that, not too uh, much different than the ones I've been asked, but you know, we've talked a little bit about getting to the winning season, the most wins since and stuff like that. Obviously, uh, you know, a dream would be every coach wants to win every game. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. But uh, to be able to to uh, Tile school record for wins in a sport institution, and to be able to do that against the rivals, combine those two. If that were to happen, I mean, what would that mean to the program if you were able to do both of those against, you know, the rivals? You know? Well, uh, the other thing before I get to that, the other thing I really like about this team to just show you the resiliency of this team. Uh, we do not ever want to lose. We've lost four games. We've won the next week. We've never lost two in a row. That that speaks volume to these young men, their character, and, and the resiliency they show. Uh, that being said, with what you just asked, uh, this would be a, a, so far in our five years a crowning achievement to say that we've tied the most wins uh, in school history. It, it, well, I think we've got a lot of momentum right now, a lot of positive energy, and this would just carry that over right into recruiting into the offseason. So I think it could be very big for us.